Hi guys, and welcome to episode 51 of the raid series. Uh, in the previous episode, we got smacked around a fair bit, but uh, my objective, my challenge in this one is to give some of that back. And we're gonna be doing a task that is normally very punishing, but uh, we're going to push through and try and do a heap of PvP in this episode. We're going to do setup and silent caliber, which is uh, using shotguns. So uh, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So um, we're gonna have to make some space to make this actually happen. Um, and the objective is to go into customs whilst using shotguns and um, just destroying it. So you have to use 12 gauge shotguns for uh, setup. And the requirement is to wear a um, scav vest as long, uh, along with a, ooh, I'm gonna have to buy some slickers. I think slickers gonna be the easiest way. Uh, wear scav vest as well as going in, uh, wearing a Yashanka. So it's gonna be a bit of, um, a bit of death with this because what ha ends up happening is you wear an armor uh but you don't have the room for uh, you don't have the ability to wear a helmet so uh, it can be quite punishing this quest but my objective is to uh try and do it in a timely manner with a bit of fun and uh should be a, we should we should hopefully have some good kills go along in the process so um i'm gonna buy a couple of these uh pistol grips for the uh for the shotguns then that way we can put um doesn't make sense oh here it is so i'll probably buy like five of these because we're going to go through a few of them and then we can put um we can put pk sixes on this oh, yeah we don't have anyone any there any attached to any of these other guns apparently not all right so oh this one all right cool so Pico 6, this has already got AP20 in it. We're going to be using a heap of AP20 as well. So to jump the gun on that, we'll buy a full 80 of them. And 40 can go right there. We'll put one right there. Now we're going to have to, we're going to customs. So we want to take in our customs keys. Now the only thing we need to do on top of this is grab an armor. Uh, before I do that though, I want to... Ooh. Now, I know this stash is a little bit of a mess. Um, we're going to go and hide out real quick. I'm going to grab the Bitcoin out of the Bitcoin farm. I do want to do this stash upgrade. Um, it's uh, another 4 million away, but it would be nice to have that stash upgrade done. I think Bitcoin's still a bit of 800k right now. 823,000 rubles. Now, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to send, put screenshots in or anything like that for each time I log in. I log in every day and make sure I get some uh, all the Bitcoins and stuff. So, um, yeah. We're wondering, like, you know, where these Bitcoins came from. That's where. Um, now, space. How do we get more space without being a bit ridiculous? So, money cases are really expensive right now. Grenade cases would be handy because of all the um, stuff I've got to do with grenades. I might just take two Vogs. They could come in handy. Um, four, five, that's med side. <sighs> Holy Dilnik would not be the worst thing to get. Holy Dil. How much are they? 48k. Cool, we got one. All right, and then we can put all our food and drink in, in here. Oop. Even the super water can go in there. It just tidies up it a little bit. Now, um, as for armors, hex grid's going to be the way to go if we want to go best in slot. Make sure it's on full. And there we go. And then last we need is shunkers, so. I'm expecting to die a few times, but I want to try and play a little bit more slow and methodical and try our best to get as many kills as possible. It's not as simple as that. Sometimes you just get smacked around doing this. Um, as for in here, I might just chuck the ZB key in there just so it's somewhere. Um, can repair that. Ooh. 
Which of these guns do I not need? I'll probably get rid of these. I don't really need the SVDs anymore. Just think about like what guns I'm going to use that will be the most handy to use moving forward. RPK can be quite good. Uh, the Remington we can use for um, the leveling snipers. So we'll hold on to that. Um, I think we've done the flashbang quest. So we don't really need that shotgun anymore. The M1A we're going to hold on to because there is a quest called Test Drive that could be quite handy to have it. Um, this AK is probably no good to us. The Vector will be good to use. Put that in the ammo box. Ammo box. Don't need the tactical grip. We'll sell that on the fleet. These can be handy. All right, we'll see how much it sells for on the fleet. Let's put it up. That's how much the vendor's for. Oh, all right. Don't need that door key. Right, so this is our loadout. We can't take in a backpack, but I don't I don't think there's any need right now. Um This is a bit of a mess. I think we get rid of this rig, to be honest. We're holding on to this rig because this is gonna hold our uh some of our, our quest items. We put that like that for now, and it's just tight. I'm just trying to tidy this up as much as we can. What I usually do is try and keep the guns all like on the side like this going vertical and then you can just kind of use the rest of the stash how you want it how you want so now as for um put that on there for now do i have anything i need a marker for let's quickly go through grenade kills nope nope medic door straight forward we will slowly get those kills we're doing set up in Silent Calibur right now. Oh, we do need to find an alkali. I actually already got the uh, corrugated hoses sorted from the hideout. Keep an eye out for fuel conditioner. Cool. So yeah, I got the uh, corrugated hoses sorted for us. Get that quest done. Well, that part of the quest done. Uh, I did the 85k. We'll use... We'll do the intel for, while we got them. Um, but I do want to do the moonshine one. So, with this... Sugar's really expensive at the moment. One. Two. Hopefully, we have a bit of luck with that. Um, we still don't have the memory for that. Cool. All right. That's tidier, at least. That can be vended. Don't need that at all. Put that down in here. Corrugated hoses. Get that out of the way. And we just need one alkali. Might as well hold on to that for now. That can be sold with this stuff. Goes down here. Alright, they're all sold. Cool. And a tidy stash as well. Look at that. Hey, kicking goals. I'll just sell these defense. Right. Customs. Kill some PMCs. Um, and hopefully have a bit of success it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those ones where it, it this can go either way it, we're going we're on prime time getting in there hopefully have some uh, success but i'm i'm not 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 expecting marvelous things if we get two to three kills a raid that'd be a great raid if we get you know we get like two one or two that's a win really but we don't want to try and do this in like 15 raids we wanted to get it done in like four to six preferably dare i say that there we go
Right now, you guys know my track history with um, with custom, so hopefully we can uh, break that. Break that. Shittery. <laughs> Let's have some fun. All right. From this spawn, it's actually a really uh, interesting spawn for us because we can push straight towards dorms and take people on from the other side, but I'd rather get up on this hill and then try and tackle people as they're coming towards us. So there's nearly always going to be someone to our left here. They're down here. Right, we're gonna go for this one. That's behind me. Someone's trying to shoot me at me with a shotgun. He doesn't know how well they got me. Quite scary how good he threw that though. This situation is try to hit a flank. So what we do is we go down. All right, he might have heard me run away. That's okay. What we do is we come back up here. Over this. And then we come back in. In the high ground. We can take it quite wide. Not my dog. All right, we got slugs, so we can shoot quite far away from here. Sorry about this. Hope we can see him up there running around trying to push down from left to right. Trying to play smart tactical.
Just stop here for a sec. Got him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there's some effort involved in that. All right, I'm going to go down because I was a good shot at the sand. I'm going to go around. Try to hit that from the flank. Alright, so... Just trying to get eyes on. They had to be close to be able to lob the grenades to there. Keep creeping forward. Fuck. He's up here, I heard him. Is a second. No, am I just hearing that? All right, so I legged him first so he couldn't run, and that would have really done a lot of damage too. But the clean, easy shot on his leg, so put the bullet in his leg, can't run anywhere, and then we take advantage of it from there. And we know there's one inside the gas station too. Burn a gazelle. And everyone's doing this quest right now.
Well, except for this dude. He wouldn't be able to hear me because that ha uh, what the uh, hat he's wearing. Your condition now. Look at that there. No one have a backpack? Legit, out of everyone here. Not a single person running a backpack. That was pretty textbook on what I did. Uh, I hope you guys are learning from these kind of fights that I do when it's particularly like this. So instead of running, taking the guy front on, like if you go in full geared and you're like, you got a meta M4 and you got like a vector, got a really fast firing rate gun. And you want to try and lock onto someone really quick. Yeah, sure. Go for it. You know, but when you got no helmet on, got to make do with what you got. So, flanking is always the option you should try and take. I think there's a player stuck inside. Or the scav is just randomly shooting. I'll also get it back from insurance, so we'll dump that. Five, four. to the right hiding in the bushes or something I don't know he ain't made no sound um I think kill me something slow firing what was it keeping 19 I don't know um that's gonna be pretty typical with this kind of shit he's gonna these things happen um he just hit me one shot in the head I was just trying to get away from him so I can get reposition to fight him but Look, you can only do what you can only do. Um, all right, so. Went in. It was a very... That area is very, very busy all the time. So if you want to play it slow and methodical, you can get to like a bush and wait for people to move past, try and get the jump on people. Um, start laying, laying in the damages. The initial spot where I got to and I took a couple shots of the guy, if I hit him, there's a pretty good chance I was going to kill him. After I missed those shots, pushing straight up over the top towards him, would have been a very risky move because there's still other people coming from the other side and um he knows the direction i'm coming from the the advantage of the spot that i was in i could have run back and around i uh, could have still run back i could have retreated any time uh because there's lots of ways of going down the hill and then to the left like it, it towards the gas station or, or around the other way uh, but we went for the flank after that pushed over the top we heard him fighting up there uh he was in the middle of looting he got up and we uh i tried to throw the vogs at him and missed and then we uh we, yeah we started fighting him and uh, we killed one. Then uh, the second guy, we uh, he threw grenades at us, was attacking us, and yeah, we flanked him, got a, got away with it. So, um, unfortunately, died with a guy hiding in the bush, or I don't know, I, I didn't see him at all. But still, good fights and uh, two quests down, uh, two kills down. Died to um, seventeen thirty nine to the ear. 
one bullet got, got us, unfortunately. Um, I, I feel like we got a little bit. Sorry, seven and thirty-one. If we uh, if we got away from that, that initial fire fight, or if he if he had shot much longer and missed, I think we would have been able to turn on and kill him. But in that situation where you don't know where they are and they just shoot at you, unless you have nowhere to run to, you should uh, turn in and fight. If you uh, go prone, turn in and fight. Um, but if you are a little bit in cover and moving already, uh, sprinting and trying to get to cover first and repositioning is normally the better play there. Uh, we should get a little bit of our stuff back from insurance at least. Now, um... We do have plenty of AP20. We need to get uh, another scav vest sorted. I'll probably buy another hex grid, which I know we're going to be chewing through these, but um, I'd much rather survive one or two hits. Oh, they jumped up again. Survive one or two hits and then uh, still be part of the fight than possibly just being like getting one tap to the thorax. There are other options we can t take. Um, for now, this is what we'll do. Now, um, we'll get the eight round mags for them. I like to do these in groups. You don't have to worry about half this shit. So, bam, 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 bam. Cool. We'll buy a couple of Pico 6s. One, two, three. And then the next option you've got is uh, for the barrel. <laughs> You either need to go with the, uh, you get three of these. Go link search on that. One, two, three. It does, uh, it does chop up your ergonomics a bit, but there's not really a lot you can do about it. So you go bam, bam, bam. Oh, you can't put the eight rounders on that one. Uh, I think, I think this is, I know this is a bug, but I think the one, three, three, eight rounders work still. Yep. Don't tell, don't tell Nikita I said that. Anyway, uh, and then we're probably going to need a couple more of these. Then contact, put that on. Meds. One. Two. Buy five more of these. Three. Cool. Ready to go again. Two kills down on the setup. Uh, and Silent Kelber, we've got to get 10 kills. So we're slowly moving through that one as well. It's, it, this can be a quite a rough quest, but it's actually uh, quite a good one to try and work on your PvP skills. I'm just going to get some, some of these. White face really does stand out a lot. All right, cool. Let's go. Bit of insurance. Cool. All right. So back into customs we go. It was a bit of a loading time. I think it was about four minutes. I was sitting there waiting for that one. Um, our favorite spawn. I'm going to go straight to the left. I don't want to get cut off by a player that's at the end there with full meta gear and that. I want options. So I'm going to go straight to the left. This could just be atrocious as well.
Going to keep pushing up. Keeping an eye out for what's going on. Going to the bunk, like the ditch. And this is always a tough decision. Do you go inside? And risk getting owned. Or do you go outside? And risk getting more owned. Because anyone who spawns up this end has the option of just running straight across the bridge or turning and then just camping and waiting for the hordes of planes to run push towards them, so. Haven't heard a sh... Fuck, I can't believe I missed all those shots. I'm going to try and flank real quick. Hopefully he won't notice me. I hope I hit him once. There's no way that's him. Him rage quitting the game. I got no idea what that little jerk thing was at the end, but let's just say it was him rage quitting. this way. It's our next target. I just don't have enough strength, I don't think. All right. Let's be real for a minute. I don't really care about that, mu that armor that much. Coming down. Granata tut. Scav. They're not hitting. Alright, there's a player on the other side of the wall. As in like I saw the big canyon thing, so we got away from that. I feel like I should, you guys should understand now. 
the whole flanking thing. The reason why I do it, how I do it. How moving, like, this is where max level endurance and strength can just give you so much of an advantage. Because you can flank so quickly. There's going to be a grenade thrown there. Yep. Blood out. First place for PvP is probably going to be the middle building. I'm going to try to avoid dorms. I feel like dorms combat is going to be just vectors and shit. I've never really hung around out here. But I feel like you'd actually see a lot of people running past. I think it's just going to be... Man, that's dorms. Let's, let's just shoot the... Let's just shoot the grenade launcher. Is there lots of legs? Ah, not scab boss. I think this is a technical supply crate though. We could check the fuel conditioners. To be contacts, I reckon, or a toolkit. Propane. Uh, the med crate will have alkali. It's this one. Right. Fine for the dorms. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. get any. <laughs> With a shot. Alright, now we'll try and get um Extract's open. 
With that alkali, I think it's worth us getting out. Thanks. How we go silent caliber? Could we kill a couple of scavs then too? Up to five scavs. The scavs just happen. You don't have to worry too much about that part. But a kill's a kill. And we got out the alkali, so that's a big win there. Now, pathing on that one. Uh, we got the really shitty spawn and customs. And pushed. I didn't just go straight down like I... I generally do on my main account, but it's just not worth it when you're trying to survive. Like, like losing hex grids and that because you're using a shotgun sucks. So I went through the actual customs area, the, the storage area, and then went around up past the bridge or towards the bridge. Heard the guy running, took a shot and missed. As soon as I missed, pulled backwards, blank. You guys are going to learn this tactic. And, you, and once you get good at it, you won't be complaining. So um, it works really well. Just practice it, practice it, practice it. The higher level endurance and strength you have, the faster you can flank. You need to go back far enough that you think that they wouldn't be able to hear you. So, you know, I did run back a little bit. We knew he was on the other side of the train, so there's already a little bit of distance. He might have heard me running around. It might have made me sound like I ran off, you know? And so then, um, even if you thought, oh, better chase, you can, as soon as you do that quick flank, just keep an eye on the area you just came from too, because they might push over and try and, and, and attack you. All right, let's get this alkali handed in. That's part tool part seven. Got wet job part one and cargo X. So these ones are both on shoreline. This one's going in with a suppressed M4 ADAR, going scavs, and this one's just going into East 306. Nothing too crazy for that. I don't really have a lot of time to go back into another raid, but feel silly. Finishing it here. Use propane to get fuel now. Plenty of ammo. And that generous man. Uh, I'll take that there. Cool. Um, all these. Now, I don't really need... time is it in the game 2130 all right i'm gonna do the mosin quest with this helmet and i'm just gonna run through the map and just kill is this the one where you can't put the rail on Right, I just want to uh, kill the scavs real quick. We'll do a nice quick run. Yeah. On customs, killing scavs with the Mosin. The Mosin. Fry rail or get a Velde. I yeah. don't have one down here. We can do it with the Voodoo. Seven and one ammo or SNB. SNB will do the trick. Do the trick. Cool. Plenty of ammo. And I'll just take that pistol. Where's that block that I got? I oh, know I died, didn't I? Uh, I'll take a 5 7 just in case I get pushed. So the objective is to avoid players, and we're just going to be going straight for scavs. We need to kill eight scavs between 2100 and 0500. We might be able to get a long range. Snipe on a, uh, a headshot, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, cool. Let's do this. Nice quick raid. Have some fun. Let's go. All right, so we're in. It's not quite night time yet, but it's not far away. Like, it's not complete night time. I am going to go directly forward this time. Um, and my pathing for killing these scouts is going to be slightly different. It's going to be very similar to what I did for Punisher Part 3. So I'm going to try and push up here. The 
that's a player in the one with the uh, it's in he's in that building there. Alright, what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to try and let him run across the water. Unless he's really high level, he shouldn't have been able to sprint to there in time. Maybe he did. Maybe he's fast as fuck, boy. Alright, let's get across this. The strategy for killing eight scavs. Right, that should be a hundred meter headshot. one all right so same as part punish part three we're going to be running through construction and that he was shooting a scav over here Here we go. A really awkward time. Just, just not dark enough yet. Oh no, my camera stopped. Hang on. I didn't know this. Sorry. I don't know how long that's been doing that. I've had so many issues with my camera. Like, it was like Windows updates and then everything went to shit. Typical bloody Windows. I'm going back to bloody Linux. Scav, cool. Um, yep. That's not a good thing. Interesting. No reason he would do that. That would do that. It was scab boss minions throwing grenades at a player. Well, just randomly throwing grenades doesn't make sense.
It's so weird. Can't see Scabos minions or anything. There has to be Scabos minions there. Wonder if I went. Hole behind me for a bit of silhouette cover. I was going to run through there and try and kill scabs in there, but probably not worth the risk now. Do I have splints? No. Like, it'd probably work, but if we can get that play on, but I think the, the safe bet right now is to um, new gas. Kill players there, escapes there. Then we'll probably go, go to old gas. It's not a quest that you have to get done in one run. I feel like someone's going to be opening that door. Or jumping over. Oh, I'm in trouble. Go for the other. On the back side of that fence. I'm dead. I'm a hundred percent dead. Oh, my God. I'm getting away from this guy, he's brutal! Um, so three scabs there, we got one. I oh know, somewhere else we got one. Tetra spawns in the back of this car. You dead scabs here. How 
now it's actually a good like vision for NVG. <sighs> I think we're one scab away. Pack of shooter, two scabs away. We do another run. Get it away. Go, 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 go. And safe. Do apologize about the camera things. I don't know what I might have to I might just reinstall Windows. I might just straight up reinstall Windows. Start again on that computer and just I hope it hope it fixes it. It's super frustrating. Pathing spawned at uh the the you getting the name trailer park spawn and run straight up. Heard the player um looting in that little cabin thing. We let him go because I was like, well, we might be able to get a long range headshot. I don't know if it was the same guy that was on the bridge. Uh, it could have been. It was a pistol shooting, I think. As we crossed over the bridge, uh, over the the land bridge, I heard. A player shooting in the distance, shot him in the head, and then after that, progressed towards uh, the middle of the map, and then through the map, just killing scavs, scavs as we went. Um, headshot was 112 meters away, and uh, yeah, nothing too crazy besides that. We are getting pretty close to level 40. Kind of cool. Uh, we get the thick weapon case when we hit level 40. I don't know if we'll sell it or we'll hold on to it. We could go for, um, we could go for level three Bitcoin farm, but I just don't think it's needed. I think I'd rather just upgrade the stash, to be honest, um, with any money that we get. So as for this episode, that's pretty much it. We've got a lot done. We've got a lot done. Um, we've got another kill for shooter born in heaven, which is nice. So one less to worry about. And, um, yeah. I might leave this gear just in like this because we didn't really loot anything. We got a shotgun, but we're just going to vendor that one. Um, where did they go? And we'll slowly get more kills for um for setup in that and so on caliber, but that one's quite a brutal quest. Go prep for that. Uh, but yeah, type of shooter we're nearly finished. We've got two more to go. Type of shooter part six, we need to kill snob scavs. We can either do that on shoreline or woods is generally the best to do that. Uh, get our factory key reward. But we do have a quest for shoreline, so we'll probably do that on shoreline. But as for this episode, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, really productive episode. A few kills. Good battles. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, w welcome to the new week. Hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for watching. You guys know the drill. Like, comment. Uh, for the YouTube, it really does help out. Share it with your friends as a new to Tarkov, give them the start of the raid series. And uh, I will be trying my best to go back and do filming more guides as soon as possible. It's got a lot going on. Also, the uh, camera. I need to get that fixed. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just shit. Uh, you deserve better. I, I always try to do the best I can. So I apologize, but sometimes it's just technology. Anyway, uh, lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.